All right, welcome back to the Cymax channel. I'm going to tell you a little bit today about uh, literature review with Orgref, something I've spent a lot of time in the last couple of months doing. And I want to show you how I use Orgref to help and some new features that I've just put into, uh, into Orgref. So um, there are like a million articles a year being published, lots of lots of different areas, and I don't need to read a million, I only need to read a few that are related to something I'm interested in, and I want to show you how I can use Orgref to uh, facilitate that. So I'm going to start by looking at a particular paper that I'm interested in today, and that is this paper on tracking material science data lineage. It's a, it's a database paper, and I want to learn more things about it and find papers that are like it. So the first thing I would normally do here is add it to my bibliography and then add it as a citation. So a way to do that is to find the DOI. So we'll just copy this right here and we'll go back over here and I'll just say um, DOI add BibTeX entry. It will figure out that I copied one. It'll ask me where to put it. And so I'll just uh, add it here. Now that has added it to my bibliography and now I can just cite it. So for me, it's control C bracket and it turns out to be the first one and I put it here and now we have a nice green link of a citation. And it was able to download a PDF for me. So we can press this, uh, press enter and we'll click P to get a PDF. And that might be the first step here that we're reading it, okay? So that's the uh, straightforward way I have of using Orgref to get references in. Now let's take a look at how do I find, let's say I've read it um, and I want to find some related articles or maybe get the references uh, or something like that. So again, this link, uh, if I hover over it, gives me a tooltip. If I click on it or press enter, we can look at all of the things that are down here. So I can open this uh, in WR for Web of Science Related. Let's just do that. This will open the Web of Science um, to related articles and whatever Web of Science says related means. And this is great if you are at a university and you are, um, your IP address allows you to access it. And you can go through any of these now, click on one, grab the DOI, go back to Emacs, paste it in, and, uh, and get on with it. All right, so I'm not gonna do that. Let's look at a few more options. This has been in uh, all along. We could also uh, type WG and open it in Google Scholar. And again, you can click on cited, related. Let's see what related here is. And on any of these, we could click on one of these, get to a place where you can get a DOI and then you can um, put it back into, into Emacs. All right, those are all um, standard. Those have been in here all along. What I wanna show you is, um, is this new Open Alex idea. So Open Alex is a knowledge database. I'll show, you, uh, show it to you in a little bit, but we can click uh, or press AR to get related documents. And this will query Open Alex with the DOI for this article and then show me the related articles. So let's try it, AR. Now, this doesn't open a browser, this opens up an Emacs. So what I've done is take the response from OpenAlex and just formatted them in a series of um, org entries. And that way we can do uh, interesting things like sort them by year, sort them uncited by. These are uh, by default uh, sorted in decreasing uh, cited by count. And so here you can use now org mode, kind of quick things to navigate these and you can get a BibTeX entry here. If I just click on this, it will automatically add this as a BibTeX entry, um, which is pretty convenient. Um, I'm gonna try it. If I click on this, it asks me where, I put it there, and now over here, I can uh, just add that in there as a new citation, and normally I would write some text around here. Um, here I might press on this, uh, and then here I'll copy a formatted, so that I get a string uh, that represents the, the reference over here. Now, I don't think this one had a PDF associated with it that it knew how to download. And so you might choose to go to the um, article and see if you can find the PDF or not. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. That's, uh, that's part of it. 
All right, so this was um, related works. Um, let's see, from here we can also get uh, the cited by documents. So let's do AC. This will open a new um, org buffer that is uh, cited by um, this article. And so these are all the articles that have cited the thing of interest, and that also could be a useful tool for you to, uh, to get to these. And you can, again, get a BibTeX entry for any of these that have a DOI. And uh, also for any one of these, follow the get references, get related, or get cited by. All right, one more, let's check uh, the references. So AF, that will give me a new buffer in a minute that are the references from this paper. So although you could do something, uh, let's say I have this, I could say alt x crossref add bibtech entry. And then this will look this up in crossref and give me a, an option to select it from here. But uh, this is more convenient because we can directly get the bibtech entry from this. All right, so that is the uh, one of the some of the ways that um, I use uh, Orgraph for helping me with the literature review. We can uh, access Web of Science, PubMed, Google Scholar, um, and other kinds of uh, web web bases here, and we can use Open Alex uh, over here. So let's just check out Open Alex real quick. Open Alex is an open catalog to the global research system, and it allows us to uh, look at all kinds of, of papers, authors, institutions, etc. And just one more look over here on related documents. Each of these also has an Open Alex link, so you can go to the Open Alex site and see what they have to say about it, about the authors, uh, etc. And speaking of authors, each one of these is also a link, so you can get into a uh, page here that will be, in this case, all the papers published by John Gogar. And it is downloading and, and rendering the data, so it takes a little bit of time. But you can see here um, the total works, all these uh, counts, and all of the papers and authors. Okay, so that's it for um, how we can use this and the new features from OpenAlex. I think they're pretty nice. They should be available in Melpa uh, maybe later today, and uh, I hope it helps you as much as it helps me. Thanks.